So today I'm talking about why a condensing fan motor could be overheating and uh, some common causes and fixes and uh, what is the normal temperature for a, a fan to be running at? Well, roughly 150 degrees. It could be a little less, could be a little bit more, but right around there. If you have an infrared thermometer, you could uh, take a measurement off of it and, and get a quick reading. I know a lot of techs will come up and just quickly touch it with their hand and see if it's super hot, then you know, it's something going on there. But uh, be careful if you do that. But basically, it, it, around 150 degrees, you need to check the, the specifications on the motor to get an exact answer for that. But that's a rough idea. And so uh, what causes a condensing fan motor to overheat? Well, a bad motor, a bad start run capacitor, incorrect size motor, uh, over amping, fan blade position wrong, or poor airflow. So if you have a, uh, it's usually over amping, you come up there and the, you can put a meter on it and uh, the amps will be way higher than they should be. So like if it's five amps, you might come up there and it'll be saying six or seven amps. Then you, it's usually a start run capacitor and, and, and uh, sometimes a bad motor. Between these two, this is usually the cause of majority of why the condensing fan motor is overheating. It's just a bad motor or the, or the start run capacitor. First thing I would do is just uh, test the start run capacitor or swap it out. And then, uh, and then you could uh, change out the motor. But uh, one, of, one of the things you have to be aware of is that uh, if somebody else worked on it before, uh, they didn't put it back together correctly, the fan blades need to be inside of the recess of the circle of the hole it goes into. It needs to be in the same position, uh, otherwise it can cause problems. So uh, be aware of that. Like if somebody's been out there recently working on it, then, you know, they might've got the fan blades in the wrong position. Uh, if there's like a lot of uh, something blocking it, like sometimes really tall weeds can block the airflow from being pushed out or somebody leans something up against that, check that out too, because that can cause that and, and it will cause the motor to overamp and uh, overheat. So those are the common uh, causes of that. And uh, right here is a fan blade. This fan blade depth, can be is adjustable along the shaft here and uh some people just screw it on because they're not aware that this matters how far deep the, this fan blade sits it's by the manufacturer and uh it can cause the motor not to to run properly so what do you do if you have a condensing fan motor that's overheating well like i said first thing to do check to start run capacitors you, you come up and, and find this uh they'll usually be like this like a dual round it used to be something like five uh, microfarads. Yeah, the other side of this will be Herm, but one side will say fan and common. And uh, those will be the two leads that go to the fan condensing fan motor. And uh, so you could test this capacitor if you have the right meter. If not, you could swap it out with, uh, with something like a, a, a little uh, single capacitor. Uh, that would be a real quick way. You get the same microfarads, you get the same voltage, and uh, you, take the, you take the common over here you have the jumper the common leg over and uh and run that off to the to the fan and you, you need to take the fan lead off and put it on the other side and that would be a brand new capacitor these are real cheap they're usually they're out you know like 10 bucks or so so that, that's a common tactic to just to rule out the capacitor and uh if you don't have a meter that can test these it's that more ideal to have a meter that can test these but some people don't so but that's basically the first thing to do the the second thing to do would be to change out the motor I mean, you can get these motors aren't hugely over expensive. A lot of times they're around a hundred bucks, so it, it might not be for everyone. You could test the windings and everything if you wanted to, but it's very common to swap out the start run capacitor and the motor. And that usually solves about 90% of the problems. And so uh, I'm gonna put links down below for everything that I'm looking at here if you wanted to read this article. But I just wanted a quick, a quick uh, overview of, of why a condensing fan motor can be overheating what you can do about it the basics it's actually pretty simple it's not too many components control that and so that's basically it uh if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them but if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day